What up guys, it's Sink. Today I'm here in the Guild HQ and I'm going to be doing a class design today. Now I made this class not too long ago actually and I made it for Mac Roshek, if I'm saying that correctly. The um, guest who was on um, Arctic's Adventure Couch and the Dino Warrior the NPC Petro Mac. He um, recently beat uh, Stone Cold Steve Austin's um, Bone Breaker Challenge and I made a class for him for his triumph and for his um, leadership and he's a true champion so let's start this up and the class starts right now alright guys this is Dino Warrior a fighter based class with a warrior based mana regeneration like I said I made this class for Mark Roshek who finished the bone breaker challenge and this class is basically made from his strong points and obstacles pulling from the challenge itself especially pulling on his strong points making Dino Warrior a formidable but invigorating class to have on your side Alright guys, let's talk about the enhancement build. This is your um, standard warrior enhancement build, as you see right here. It's mainly focusing on endurance rather than haste and dexterity like the Dragon Lord build. So endurance is the key for this class. Alright guys, let's talk about the auto attack. Bone Breaker. Now, this um, ability it revolves around the last skill and I'll make sure I um, clarify on it when I get to it. If Fractured is in play, each auto attack has a 25 chance to apply Broken, increasing their physical damage taken by 30% for 8 seconds. Cooldown 2 seconds, physical skill and range is closed. This is basically your simple uh, discipline fighter auto attack, 110 weapon, percent, weapon ugh, 110 weapon damage. But if Fractured is on the play, which is ability on the last skill, you, each auto attack has a 25% chance to apply Broken, increasing the physical damage they take. And their broken ability cannot stack just to make that clear with everybody. Alright, guys, let's talk about the first skill Draco Sprint. Bolts out the target with blazing speed that may engulf your target into flames, deals moderate damage and a minor DOT for 6 seconds if made contact. Applies blowout, increasing your haste and hit chance by 15% for 6 seconds. Mana 20, cooldown 10 seconds. It's a physical skill and it ranges far. Basically, this is a 200% weapon damage skill. The DNT is 60 to 100% weapon damage. I mean, 6 to 100. <laughs> 6 to 100 damage over time for the 6 seconds, depending on the attack power. The damage can miss, but the sub buffs cannot. Basically, this is just a good starter skill for the far range or whatnot. You come up and you automatically get the boost from the Dragon Sprint, getting you closer to the target, increasing your speed and hit chance for a short amount of time. Alright guys, let's talk about the second skill. War of a Champion. Let's sound an eerie roar doing moderate damage up to three people. A 50% chance to invigorate you and your allies, empowering empowered. Increases their crit chance and critical strike damage by 15% for 12 seconds. Mana 16, cooldown 8 seconds, a physical skill in the range of far. This is the first skill to be a status move and a target move, if I'm right. So this skill right here is very good when it just also a support and also a damaging skill. If you're just with your allies, the skill has a 50% chance to apply in power to them, similar to Fiend Frenzy. But if any of the targets can, any, uh, if they're in range, anybody can be targeted, but also do 160% weapon damage up to three people. So this is a very good skill, being supported in a damaging move. Also really good for farming one now with the increased AOE chance and a chance to increase your crit chance and critical strike damage. Alright guys, let's talk about the third skill, the pit. Singles out your opponent, increasing your damage resistance by 30% and lowering the damage output by 15% for 10 seconds. Applies focus, forcing the target to hit you for the duration. Mana 16, cooldown 13 seconds, is a physical skill in the range of farm. Basically, in the Bone Breaker Challenge, Matt Rosig was uh, specialized in the pit. That's what, this pit is basically the knockout ability for um, the um, series for the process of elimination of the um, the people who are in it since Mac Rochette won so he didn't have to really worry about being knocked out since he won the whole thing overall so this is a really good s skill to complement its warrior mana regeneration forcing the target attack you like in a boss battle or not giving that constant mana regeneration that you need and also just giving you a little damage resistance and lowering the damage for the duration as well Alright, let's talk about the rank 4 passes. I can and I will. 
increases endurance by 30%. This class is mainly focused on its endurance and its ability to last like Mark Rocha did in the series, striving and fighting through and becoming on top of the champion of the Bone Breaker Challenge. So 20% more health, aka HP hit points, is very valuable to this class. Alright, and the second rank for passive is Grip and Grip, which is actually an obstacle in the Bone Breaker Challenge. So this is increases your strength by 18%, just giving you that more strength and more critical strike damage and more power to your physical skills, which is all of them. Alright guys, let's talk about the last skill, Skull Buster. Smite your enemy with a devastating blow for moderately strong damage with a slightly higher chance to crit. Applies Fractured. Lowers the chance to crit slightly by 50% for 10 seconds. Mana 28, cooldown 15 seconds. It's a physical skill in the range is close. This is actually a scenario, not really a scenario, but a, um, a part of the Bone Breaker Challenge. Like you have the elimination uh, task, and this Skull Buster was actually a task, but I created it into a skill. This is what I was talking about with the auto attack. This lowers the chance to crit, applying Fractured. And each of your auto attack has a 25% chance to apply broken. Well, if you fracture a bone, the next step is to break it. It applies broken, increasing the physical damage they take by 30% for for eight seconds. So this is a really good skill or whatnot, if because they complement each other. If you hit this on the opponent, the skill has a slightly higher chance to crit, doing 280% weapon damage with the 15% higher chance to crit. That with uh, War of a Champion will really increase your chance to create any critical damage, thus making this actually a very powerful nuke if you're able to combine the combos and the skills at the right time. Alright guys, when you look at this class all together, oh one more thing, the, the passive skill, I almost forgot about it, I made a passive for this class. It's called Signs of a Champion. Increases your damage resistance and endurance by 50%. So basically this is a perma, um, perma rank for rank 10 passive, excuse me, giving you that more damage resistant and giving you the longer ability to fight like Mark Roshif did. Alright guys, now I can talk about the summary of the class. When you look at this class all together and whatnot, this class is, you just have to have it on your lineup. This class is bound to be on your lineup. Given the nice critical, su critical supports that it's able to give to all the classes, making any class that you have with you effective. You do not want to be caught alone with this class like Mark Rocha did in the pit. It will single you out and take you down. The Draco buffs, the Draco sprint buffs are mainly to help the class keep its persistency to hit and is keeping you constantly flowing with the low with the low haste that you already have as it is. This class is just very strong and very straightforward, but the ability to have support and be a leader at the same time. Alright guys, that basically sums up this video. Like to subscribe, share with all your friends. I made this specifically for Mark Rocha for the um, triumph that he did over the Bone Breaker Challenge and that's no easy feat. So I got away with my research and I made sure that this was especially made for him with the abilities of how what he was strong for and just the obstacles that he did and whatnot. And it really complimented the class making it a leader and a fighter at the same time. Uh, Next up on my channel, I might be doing another class design, and I haven't forgot to do a Flame Dragon Warrior on um, Blood Rip Brawl, but just um, spread the word about this class, share it with your friends or whatnot, and it will be very helpful for this class because I really want this class in game for something as tough as he was able to achieve. It just really needs to be um, known or whatnot since he's already an NPC in game. Alright guys, that basically sums this up. I'm Sink. Catch you guys later. See ya. I am my father's son, cause he's a fan, son, a mystery, and that leaves me nothing! Many times if you wanted to die, it's too late for me! All you have to do is get rid of me! You can't be kind of